in Aleppe this time we're staying in the town last time we were on the lake but we thought we'd come and investigate the actual city itself we've got a really really cool little homestay that we're in which we will show you later on but now it's the middle of the day it's 32 degrees so we've decided to go for a walk and find some food yeah, mad dogs and Englishmen out in this thing You need any fish fry, like something? Uh, uh, no, no, this looks good. good. So we use take this small curry all yeah. and mix it well. Then you can eat. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> so, so this, this is curry. This is uh, yeah. This is beetroot, beetroot, cabbage, cabbage, pickle, pickle, and lady finger. Everything vegetable. Yeah. Very good. So we take some of this. Yeah, I like this. this. Yeah. Hot. Yep. <laughs> Ooh, that's good. That's good. <laughs> we take it all. Yeah. Put it all in. Okay. That's hot. <laughs> Did we know what we were ordering? Yeah. Just a dish. No. <laughs> but, um. Tasty? It is tasty. But there's, um. There's no spoons. <laughs> you know How's lunch today, Renee? It's good. I've got no idea what it is apart from the fact that it's a traditional or typical um, Kerala style meal. So you've got a whole lot of different pickles and chutneys. I know there's beetroot, cabbage, lady fingers, can't remember what that one was. Then you get a big thing of rice and you pop it on. And basically you just add it all in and mix it together with your hands. Hands or one hand? One hand and then try and eat it without getting it all over yourself. Right, how we go. <laughs> You're wearing a nice clean white top, I noticed. Mm. And I'm not that good with dishes in my hands, but it's really delicious. Gotta mush it all together. So we took a bit of a risk with lunch because we didn't know what to expect from that restaurant. There's no menu, they just bring you out a plate of food, but I'd say a resounding success, wouldn't you? Marvelous. It was, it was really tasty, the guy was lovely, and it cost us, what was it, the princely sum of about $3? Three dollars For two. both of us. Yep. Yeah. And, and it was one of those, they keep bringing rice into your pool. Yeah, so we may be going back there again. So here we are at the Olympi Lighthouse, climbing up the stairs. No idea how many stairs there are. Didn't look particularly tall from the outside, but let's see when we get to the top. Now, what is this emerging from the, the, the depth? Getting in and out. Welcome oh, it's higher than I thought. Welcome to the top of the Aleppi Lighthouse. That was a bit of a mission actually. It I doesn't look as tall from the outside. There's a bit of puffing going on. It is. Yeah, higher than I expected. Oh, good view though. Of? Of the beach of Aleppi. I can see a lot of cell phone towers. And, and a lot of coconut palms. <laughs> Very nice. Thank you. 
dosa in Kerala, mm. and how is it? Mm. Good. Piping hot. Couldn't get it any fresher than that. accommodation the boho homestay here in Aleppo what we particularly like is that it's got this massive big garden area which isn't something we've had before so we've got really good seating area here so we've sat out here for dinner a few nights um, gardens all lovely landscaped we've even got I don't know if you can see but there's the resident cats in here so lots of banana trees, coconut palms, just a really relaxing place to be. And they also have a really good little modern kitchen here where they do all the cooking for us because we've eaten most of our meals here and they also supply us with water, which has been really good. And as well as the lovely outside at the Boho, we also have our room, which I think is probably one of the cleanest rooms we have had in India. Really, really soft mattress. Um, spotlessly clean and bathroom also really modern fresh clean tidy so we've thoroughly enjoyed staying in this room and we've even kept the windows open at night because they have got bars on them and this really good netting because there are a lot of mosquitoes here but we haven't noticed them at all if you look closely under that book there's a person let's see who this person is Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> There's a massive mosquito I'm trying to get. Ah, uh, such is life. Another day, another, another day, another hammock. It is another day, another hammock, but very relaxing. Hmm. 